okay so in today's video we're going to have a look at collecting like terms uh, so grab a piece of paper grab a pen make some notes and let's get started it's quite a short one okay so uh, this question here we've got simplify and then we've got some x's and some y's so that word simplify just means let's let's make this shorter basically we're going to collect together all the x's collect together all the y's or whatever pieces we have and we're going to write this in a shorter way that's easier to see so it's up to you what method you choose i just like to look at the, the, the expression here and just have a look at what x pieces we've got. So we've got a 3x there and we've got a plus 4x. Now I, I'm going to emphasize the plus and the minus every time because that is important that it's a plus 4x and not a minus 4x. So we've got 3x and we're going to add to that 4x. And 3x and 4x added together gives us 7x. So we've got 7x's in total. Then I'm going to look at the other numbers or the other pieces sorry separately. So we've got a 5x and we've got a minus, sorry, a 5y and a negative 2y. So 5y minus 2y, let's have a look, what does that come down to make? 5 minus 2 is 3, so that is positive 3y. So we've got 3y's and it's positive 3y, so I'll just put a plus there just to emphasize that that's positive. We've got 7x's, add 3y's, and that's that simplified. X's and y's can't join together, they're separate pieces, so 7x add 3y is our final answer. Let's have a look at another one. Okay, so in this um, expression here, we've got x's and we've got numbers. So let's just have a look at the x pieces to start with. I've got 7x minus 4x, and 7 take away 4 is 3x, that's positive 3x. So I'm going to write that at the start, so I don't need to put a plus before that, because we assume that if it's not negative, then it is positive, so it's positive 3x. Now let's have a look at the numbers. Again, separate pieces, can't join up with the x's, but we'll have a look at the numbers separately. So we have a positive 5 and a negative 2. So 5 take away 2 is positive 3, so we write plus 3. Again, if it came out as negative, we would write negative 3, but positive 5 take away 2 is positive 3, and that's our final answer there. Let's have a look at one more before you have a go. Okay, so simplify this. 15 minus 4x minus 9 plus x. Let's have a look at what we get here. So the numbers I'm going to start with first, as is a number first, although you don't have to. So I've got 15 and a minus 9, and 15 take away 9 is 6, positive 6, so I'll just write 6. Okay, so that's what those two came down to make. Now I'm going to look at the x pieces here. We've got negative 4x, add x. Now if there's not a number in front of it, that's 1x, so we've got minus 4, add 1. Minus 4, add 1 is minus 3, so minus 3x is there, and as it is minus, I need to keep make sure I emphasize that it's negative, so negative 3x and we get six minus three X there as our final answer. Okay, so if you write, rewrite this, you can put little circles or little boxes around the pieces, but just make sure you have a look at what symbols are in front of them, if it's positive or negative, uh, and make sure that they go alongside that piece. So here's some for you to have a, go, have a go at. Okay, so here's four questions. Pause the video there, and we'll go over the answers in a sec. Okay, let's have a look then. So this first one, we've got five X minus two X, which leaves us with three X, and on the other pieces here we have a 3y add a 4y and 3y plus 4y is 7y so positive 7y. On to the one below we have 5x take away 3x, 5 take away 3 is 2 so 2x's two and on to the numbers there we have 6 take away 10, 6 take away 10 is minus 4, negative 4 so minus 4. Top right we have 5 take away 3, 5 take away 3 is 2 and onto the x pieces, we have negative 7x add 1x. So negative 7 add 1 is negative 6, so negative 6x. And on the final question, we have 11 take away 4. 11 take away 4 is 7. And onto the x pieces here, we have negative 3x add 2x. Negative 3 add 2 is negative 1. So you could put minus 1x or just minus x. There you go, so 7 minus x. Let's have a look at some slightly different ones. Okay, here we go. So we've got some x squared pieces and some x pieces. Now, although all the pieces have x in, these x squared pieces we're going to treat separate to the just of x pieces on their own. So if I just have a look at the x squared pieces, we've got a 12x squared and we've got a minus 3x squared. So 12 lots of x squared, take away 3 lots of x squared, leaves us with 9 lots of x squared. And I'm just going to leave that piece separate to the x parts. So looking at the next one, we've got 5x take away 2x and just like we did before 5 lots of x take away 2 lots of x leaves us with 3 lots of x and that's positive 3 lots of x so plus 3x and there we go we'd leave it just like that we can't join up an x squared and an x piece they stay separate let's have a look at another one slightly longer 
Okay, so we've got lots of pieces going on here, so I just need to be really, really careful that I underline all the pieces that I'm looking for or circling them, just being nice and careful. So let's have a look at these x squared pieces. We've got a 3x squared there plus a 2x squared there. So in total, 3 plus 2 gives us 5 lots of x squared. Moving on to the next piece, we can look at the x's next, all the numbers. In fact, it's a, it's a 5 there, so let's just look at the 5. So we've got negative 5 and negative 1. So minus 5, take away 1, is minus 6. There we go, and there's the numbers done. And let's have a look at these final bits, which are an x. We've got minus 4x plus 7x. So minus 4, add 7 is positive 3. So we'd have plus 3x. There we go, and that's that simplified. Again, we could have done that in any order, so we could have any rearrangement of this. If I'd have done the x squared pieces first, like the same way, but then done the x, I'd have 5x squared, and then I'd have the plus 3x, and then the minus 6. So they can be in any order there, as long as the symbols are correct in front of them. Let's have a look for some of you to have a go at. Okay, so only two questions. Just be careful with all the symbols in front of them. So there's two. Have a go at those. Pause the video, and we'll go over the answers in a sec. Okay, so answers for these. On the first one, we have 6x squared take away 2x squared, which leaves us with 4x squared. And then moving on to the next part of this, we have positive 8x take away 3x. So 8 take away 3 is 5, so that's positive 5x or plus 5x. And there's that one. On to this next one, we have three pieces going on. We've got x squared, x and numbers. So we have 5x squared plus 2x squared. So 5x squared plus 2x squared, x squared gives us 7x squared. Moving on to the x pieces, we've got negative 3x, negative 2x. So negative 3x take away 2 gives us minus 5x. And then the final piece here in this one, we have minus 1 plus 4. So minus 1, add 4, is 3. That's positive 3, so plus 3. There we go, so that's collecting like terms. Again, there can be lots of variations of this with different symbols, different numbers, different letters. Okay, but that is the general idea of how to collect like terms. So well done for sticking through that. If you like the video, please like, please comment, please subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.